We will do a video to try and explain all the different types of steering wheels that were used on the Land Rover Range Rover models from around the 2002 year point. So we sort of line them all up and we'll show you the options and what we've got. Let me pass the camera over to Kate. So let's start with this middle wheel here. So this is a leather sport 2005 steering wheel which is also used on the discovery 3 so um, it will probably look more familiar to you if we fit the airbag and the switches so the switch packs whoa, wrong ones. All right, if we fit the switch packs in here this will start to look more like what you perhaps see on your car okay so the discovery 3 the Range Rover Sport use this steering wheel. Now it will look the same as the wheel used on the Freelander 2. Okay, but one thing to notice is the centre boss. So on the Sport and the Discovery they had a splined centre boss. On the Freelander 2, for some reason, they had a hexagonal centre boss. So that's the difference too. Now another point to note here, but you'll notice once you've when you've got this the airbag and the switch packs in, if I just mock it up there quickly for you, it looks exactly the same. So it takes the same switch packs. Now these switch packs, you can get them with no switches on a Discovery 3 commercial, and it goes all the way up to the top of the range where they had three switches on both sides. But this is the most common configuration with the three and the two switches. Okay, right then. Now, what you will notice is that on the later models, they had these bigger switch packs. So you'll see how much bigger they are. And what they effectively did was shorten this middle spoke, or these two middle spokes. So if you look here, get the camera square on, you can see that this one here is, um, is bigger, and this one here is later. So this is a 2010 sports steering wheel and the other thing to notice on this one is we've got a little wire coming out and this this indicates that this wheel is heated now it was an option on the sport 2005 but very rare to find a sport 2005 heated it was what they called a winter pack or a cold country pack um, but on the 2010 it was a much more common uh, option. So if I just assemble this for you, so you see what you'll get. Now this Sport 2010 steering wheel was also used on the Discovery 4. Okay, so they are interchangeable. That is what you will see. Um, right, now the Freelander 2 in around 2012 did change to these switch packs, but again they kept a hexagonal centre boss. So if it's if it's this type with the, the shorter spokes, but you've got a hexagonal boss, that's a late Freelander 2 one. Now, one other little lesson while we're here is that you will notice on this steering wheel, the Freelander 2 one, when you look at this inner seam, you'll see there's just a seam line, okay? And that's because this is just a molded plastic or PU rubber steering wheel. Right. On a leather one, you'll actually see the stitches okay so you can see there the stitches and where it's pulled the rubber up um, now I think they actually changed the stitching so we're getting a bit geeky now but you, they had a sort of V stitch they call this but on the 2010 steering wheel you can see they went to this sort of X stitching here which is a um, I think it's a much neater stitch okay so that's the steering wheels there for the Sport Freelander Discovery. That's all your options there. Okay, if we move over to the next row, let's move these out of the way so Kate can get in with the camera. Okay, this is the L322. So this was the big Range Rover Vogue shape that was made from 2002 until 2012. Basically, the steering wheel was the same. So let's look at some of the options. Okay, so you've got the four spokes, and they actually even label them on here, A, B, C, and D. These spokes you could get in different colors, and you can change them. We've got them on the website. Um, and you can snap these off here, unscrew them, and they actually unclip. I won't do it on this one. I could have it doing. Um, but they unclip. We've done another video how to do that. Um, and you can get chrome ones. So this is one option, is the spoke. The other option you'll see here, this is heated, 
most cars were heated on the Range Rover L322 unless you had a base model it wasn't right the other thing was paddle shift some cars came with paddle shift and the steering wheel is exactly the same it's just this rear cover was changed to adapt to have a, a paddle shift okay but the steering wheel core stays the same so there was only one core used on all models now like on the sport they did change the switch configuration so this was the early airbag so this is what your steering wheel will look like in the car um, but you'll see that in 2010 they changed to the later type airbag that has these sort of navigation buttons here but the steering wheel remained unchanged it was really only an airbag um, and button configuration change so that should be all the options you've got on that steering wheel and again on our website we do them with different wood inlays and different leather types um, but take a look at that right and then we get on to these that are used on the 2012 models so on the left here we've got the Range Rover Evoque now I'm missing the switch packs on this one let me bring this one forward so again the airbag is different on this one this is the the airbag used um, and I've got the switch packs out of this but this has sort of diamond shaped switch packs here and this lower U section um, now there are two types of steering wheels essentially on the Range Rover Evoque this one is non-heated the heated one would have a wire coming out this bottom corner here and the other option on the steering wheel on the Evoque is whether it's a paddle shift or not now you can't fit paddle shifts unless you've got this section here this threaded hole to bolt them onto so it's actually a different steering wheel if you want paddle shift it's not like the L322 where you can just bolt them onto the back you need to have the the boss the mounts there ready so heating and paddle shift are your two options on the evoke right now if we put this that one back the next one which is similar but like a little bit bigger and the switch packs are different and the airbag is different this is a Range Rover Sport 2013, what they call the L494 Range Rover Sport. So you see the switch pack, this is the airbag. Um, again, we've got hexagonal bosses now. It seems that across the range they've moved to the hexagonal boss, um, which means if you're changing the steering wheel, it's much easier because you can't get it one spline out. It's, it's fairly obvious if you're a, if you're a whole six... Uh, which I guess is 60 degrees. If you're 60 degrees out, it's fairly evident um, that's the case. Um, so again, I believe heating is an option on these, and you would have the heating wire coming out here. Um, and paddle shift, again, is an option. So you need to look whether you've got the paddle shift on the back here if you want to go to paddle shift. Now, the last thing we've got here is the L494. Now, it seems that they've sort of tried to copy the spokes on the older L322 model that it replaced uh, the angles seem much similar which so it seems like they've copied that concept this wheel would take the same switch packs as the sport here and the airbag is the same as well so pro there's a chance that you might better interchange these two wheels on the car um, but I, I don't know why you'd want to do that but there looks like there is an option you could change those so hopefully that's given you an introduction to the different types of steering wheels, so at least if you find one you can work out what it is.